Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome to Afterlife SMP. Tiny and cute as ever, but today is the day. Just gotta climb up here real quick. Eh, I fell. Where the mushroom village grows big and strong. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Less than 40,000 subscribers to go to the big 1 million. So thank you for the support. We're growing big and strong. Now, the first measure in today's plan to grow our village is going to be connecting us up to spawn so that I can more easily collect the diamonds in my shop, but I don't have too much obsidian. I'm going to need to go get a lot more obsidian to create a little nether. Huh? There's somebody on my roof. There's somebody on my roof. Hello. Hello? Little smurf man. I, I don't know if I want to come out of my house now. I don't. It's fine. I'm friendly at the moment. At the moment. At the moment. Okay. How, you yeah, kill the bad I've, things out there, and I'll I'll come out I've of my house. I killed the bad thing. I've killed the bad thing. Okay. I need a. Okay. I need a favor. Oh. Uh, and you seem like the perfect man for the job. Okay. I'm just. Okay. I'm gonna just stay right. Yep. Okay. Uh, um. What What is this favor job thing you need me specifically so, for? Well, so you know how I can do the fun thing when I do like that? Oh, and oh, then I oh, can oh do no, like not this guy, this guy. Okay, okay. Like yep. I can do that. Uh -huh. um, so there's certain things that I also want to do that too, to bring back from the end. But if I'm not in the end, I can't swap places because they're not, they don't exist. Um, so I want you to come to the end with me and then just stand near the things that I mark. Okay, uh, literally as you're walking up, I was talking about how I need obsidian to be able to build some nether portals. So I, I guess I need to go to the end too. All right. Perfect. I'll even give you a dragon head. There you go. Oh, oh. Does this make me look more tiny, cute, adorable, and ferocious? <laughs> I, does this does this work for the it's tiny, cute, little. adorable, ferocious? Let me it's, just take yes. care of a local real quick. Very so tiny, cute, adorable, and ferocious. So come with me? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Perfect. Okay, um, Perfect. I'm on your head. Don't knock me into the void. I won't. Because then I would also fall into the void. And I yep, want that's that. the plan. That is the plan. Okay, well, there's my I obsidian. Won't. I think, yep, I think I can just stay. No, no. No, no, no. no we no, need no. to go. We'll do main first. Okay. And then I can just leave you to get yours as much as you right. need. Right, yeah, that, right. Yeah, that's the fun side of it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. Little quick stop, pit stop. Sorry. Okay. Ender shards. It considers nighttime here, so I can do my big leap. Oh, good, good, good. So if we fall off the edge, there's a chance we could survive. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I can jump off and try if you want. Oh, nope. Sorry, sorry. Pit stop. You, you sure go try that. You go try that. I'm just going to go to the pit stop. Okay, well, what I can do is I can mark you and then jump off, and if I fail... I'll no, swiftly. no, no, let's not. Let's not do that one. Mm -mm. It's extra scary when I do my jump over this bridge, because there's nothing on either side. Yep. Yep, yep, it is. So I'm looking for something in this area. It's, they're like end pond slimes is the only way I could describe them. Oh, with like the big crystally thing on top of their head? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want one. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So I see one. I found okay, one. Okay, yep. Oh, look at it. He's so got a crystal on his head. I'm going to mark it, and then you just need to exist around it. I'm good at existing. I'm great at that. Yep. You entertain him. I'll be back soon. Yeah. Bye. Uh -huh. Anytime now. He's going to teleport in. And this guy's going to disappear. Yep. Oh, hello. Ah. There we go. It, it worked. Perfect. Do you need to go back or you want yes. to explore? Uh, no, I here? would love to get the heck out of here. Let's go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Time to get a bunch of obsidian. I've only got to set up two portals, so 44 should be plenty. Time to get the heck out of the end. Now, I think a great place for our nether portal is down here along the edge of the cliff. Something like maybe right in here, to be honest. This way I can hide it along the edge and we can have people walking into the mushroom village from one angle. Getting the coordinates real quick for some nether math and please be safe. Please, nope, this is the opposite of safe. This is a basalt delta. I hate every second of this. Well, now I got to break this guy down. The next step here is... Okay, I made it. I made it. I made it. Professional jumper. I need to get a little bit of magma cream to stay safe inside the nether so that we can make fire zest po potions. But the next thing is I actually need to get onto the ceiling, like up in there. So getting a little bit of nether rack. And I'd say we would pillar to the top, but I can't do that. I guess I can just do this. Okay, this is painful. Absolute pain. There we go. We're in the ceiling. 
Now, if I did my math correctly, we can go over here and this way. But building a new portal right in here should hopefully connect back to that one I created in the overworld. Amazing, it worked. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's gonna be great. We've got to do the same process again at spawn, but first I would love to make a mining hammer. Just kidding, I already have one. We're good to go. We're hopefully the last time a boat ride to spawn. And we're off. What is going on here? Um, I don't think I want to know. I don't think I want to know. We've done it. The long boat ride is over. Spawn is just over this ledge across the Amethyst roller coaster. I understand we have this nether portal here already, but I want to move it to be a little bit more accessible. Well, I should say at least for my shop. I think the perfect place for another portal for Spawn Island with all the shops going up here and, you know, my shop right there would be to put one right in this wall. And this back in the wall here should do great. Time to link these up in the ceiling. Oh, not this again. Oh, not this again. Okay, time to break this guy and move him up. The new spawn portal should be going right about here or down a block. Amazing, there we go. We're all linked up. Now I just got to connect him with a tunnel. I know I can fit through a one tall block space, but I think I want to make this one three by two so that more people can get through here. Or maybe we just pull out the hammer like I grabbed earlier and we do this much faster. Oh, that is very death down there. Uh, I'm just gonna block it off. Can't see it, can't hurt you, right? There we go, there's the portal. And it's a little low. Okay, I'm gonna just raise this one up so they're on the same level. And there we have it, back home safe and sound and so much faster. I just don't really have any place to store all these blocks I got, but I do want to keep them. We can put a secret barrel in the wall. Now from here, I've been getting, that's a boat. That's not a, my wallet. I've been getting a bunch of iron collected up. So we got all that in here and a whole nother stack of blocks right there. Check that out. And there's actually a little bit more in the farm already and some more iron golem heads and we'll bring over the poppies for the free samples. Now we got to run through the disgusting tunnel that I just dug out all the way back over to spawn. I think I'm already halfway there already. Yep, here's the turn and the portal's right there. Oh, this is so much quicker. It hasn't even been a minute. The boat ride's like 10 minutes. Oh, that is so much better and my shop is right up here. Looks like we made some diamonds. Look at it. Oh, amazing. Flame of the diamonds and throwing a little bit more iron in that one ready to go. Then inside of here, no sales yet. Is anybody taking any flowers? No. We'll just fill up the flower chest. Somebody will, will take flowers eventually, right? Yeah. They'll take, they'll take my free flowers. You know what? We've at least got a full barrel stocked up, which is fantastic inside the main shop. And soon we'll start selling iron golem heads, but for now they're just on display talking to each other. Also, I want to make sure to tell people don't eat me, so I'm just going to get rid of these barrels over here because we never filled them. And if anybody's too tall to enter the shop, I'll just help them out. The other thing to grab is over here at spawn, we now have waystones, which is absolutely amazing, but they take experience to get back and forth. The nether portal is free, and I don't really want to waste my levels right now, but that'll be good to have for the future. Just as I get home to start working on today's project, Sausage invites me over to his base. We've already survived one evil member on the server today. Let's go see what's up. Stealth mission, stealth mission. There's a what meeting happening be between Gemini Day and Mythical Sausage. We're here for a stealth Jeff? mission. Who's over here hey, doing sausage. some investigating? What is wrong with your eyeball? Oh, it's a laser. Oh. Gem has a laser. I don't know when that happened. Laser villagers. <laughs> I thought you were in the T-1000 over there coming over here and taking over the world. That's cool. Hi. I heard you got killed by Scott too. Yeah. Oh, I'm man, me too. A robot. What are you? Beep boop. Oh, is that him? Beep Beep boop. Over. Hello? This guy's so little, I have no idea where he's at. He's always coming around, tiny little man. Oh, look at that little, little tiny, look at that, I see him, I see him. Look at that little R2-D2 looking thing. Oh, look at that tiny man. You still have mending books. Oh yeah, give me a mending book, you have a mending is book? The, is the I library still open? I would love to see yeah. the li library. Is the library still open? Are you still, still a open? villager? Are you, do you still have like the good no. villager trades? Yeah, can you spawn an iron golem to protect us Yeah, here? will your iron golems kill me? No. Did Did you become one with your iron golems? If I give you this, would you hold it out for a villager? Oh, look how tiny that is. Oh, it got bigger. Oh, that, that looks so much more natural. Oh, thank that. Yep. Iron, here. Oh, here. look at um, that. Very sorry about this. I kind of, yeah, your people have been great. I, br I brought that for you as a little hello. Ooh. And then I brought this for you as a little hello. Hi, how you doing? What the heck? Oh, what's Your people have been stack? great. Thank oh, you. Thank you. you so yeah. Uh, you just look Ooh. great holding the poppy there. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to murder me, are you? 
Oh, I have a laser, so you shouldn't test me. <laughs> oh, you have a laser? Can you show me? Show me, show me. I want to see it. Oh, can you kill something for yeah, me? I use it on you. I love death. Um, sure. I can take it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that tickled. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Again. Yeah, again. Do again. it to the little guy. Again. again. Do it to him. Do Where it to him. Are you? Do it again. Do it again. I'm a robot. Please do it again. Do it again. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh. Ow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so good. I took a half oh, a miss. heart. Scott really gave you an awesome power. He gave me a cool one, too. You want to see what I could do? I shoot wither skulls. I'm half wither. Oh. oh. Maybe I should sit on his oh, head. He fine. seems like a... If I sit here, I have less chance of death. Ew, I just looked up your pants. Stop looking at my butt, sausage. If this little guy farts on me, I'm not I'm not playing around. You're going to get withered. I have been eating a lot of mushrooms. I hate it here. <laughs> sausage, didn't you have something for us? Did you call us here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted you to come over because technically we're going to... I'm, I'm, I'm part of a little evil alliance right now, all right, with uh, Scott and Shadow Girl. And, I, I, you know, I like you guys. I don't want you to die. And I don't want you guys to suffer, you know, too bad, okay? I'm half good. So I want you to keep this. Put this lantern outside of your house. And if that lantern's out there, you won't be sacrificed. I love lamp. Well, this boat, this yacht, newly acquired yacht, I think is uh, ready to venture on back to the luxurious, massive mega vil village base of Smurfville. <laughs> your village is the smallest village I've ever seen in my life. It's very big. Hey, can it's I very ride? big. You can drive. Okay. Bye, sausage. No, other way. Other way. Jump. Goodbye, turn around. Turn around. Nope. You're going the wrong way. Robot. Oh, sorry. This robot. Robot's... Wrong way. You Come turn. On. You turn. Nobody's installed my you navigation turn. software. I'm sorry. You I'm turn. Sorry. The worst GPS. All right. We've got a ton of buildings to be making here inside of our village. I need a lot more mushroom houses. So it's time to get a bunch of outlines laid down and figure out what we're making. My mega base is very massive. I know. But it cannot contain all of the items and everything I have inside of it. So starting off, I want to add in a new storage building as well as a new building for all of our smelting to make it easier moving forwards. On top of that, we're also adding in a bunch of outlines for random houses just to make the area feel more full. First things first, let's get that storage room set up because I can't live out of the eight barrels I have in here anymore. So hopefully 20 chests should be a good size upgrade. And we can add those all in here as something like this. Sure, it's gonna be a mess. Thankfully, we did get a bunch of fun blocks in the nether we can start working with. So I wanna pick a few and just start using those as the roof colors. How about something like this? Like a good deep purple mushroom. I think that'll be fun. All right, we've got our door in place. Got the first few of those around, but I think I'm gonna pick them back up. And I threw in some oak palisade walls around the edge so we can start adding in our little spruce slab trim I've been using. And I think for the entrance, we'll go a block and a half tall here, just so it's got a little bit more room. Stretching around the back, we're gonna really, really need to figure out this backside soon because it's a, it's a little ugly. From here, any of the open gaps, we can add in the lattices to be our windows. Maybe we just add an extra for some skylight back there. And we start piling up the planks. I think the top of this one's going to be rather flat, almost like it got just smoothed over. I think it'd be pretty good because otherwise it's going to be a very tall roof and our mega base has to be the biggest. But taking the opportunity to add in a few more windows, maybe we do something like right in here. And I think I can honestly just do some slabs across this bit and that'll be okay. Pretty tight for a storage room, but at least it's a lot more space than I already had. And it's all accessible with a giant chandelier. For a little bit of functionality, we can put a crafting table in the floor as the front doormat. And I think honestly, I can just do some spruce planks down here. Yeah, I like it. Very cramped, but it'll work. Definitely needs some more love on the outside though. That's not really my favorite. It's a wee bit of a mess. Maybe I can try adding in a little bit of the bark of this actual tree just for variety's sake. And not even stripping them all still works. It's just kind of a dark, but with that extra little purple mossy stuff on it, I really like it. We do have the little bit of the flare out at the top of our original one. So I'm going to try adding in something like that over here too. And it might just help be the difference we need. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Once we get some trees around here in the end, I think it'd be really nice. To go along with the theme of the giant mushroom houses, I thought for the next one, we could work with the willow log here, which creates these awesome red planks. A little similar to the red mushroom block, but still unique enough. Come to think of it, I also have these blocks, the Luceria blanks. Could we combine them together? I think that's a yes. I think that's a yes. 
The other item I want outside of this to use here is some jungle wood. And thankfully, we do have some saplings. Wandering on over here. And if we plant down our saplings, clear out a little bit of this grass, and then we bone meal. Nice. Hopefully, the tree axe can work. Yes. Amazing. Can't hurt to get a second tree as well, please? Yes. Now, this house doesn't serve a special purpose quite yet, but maybe we'll find something for it later. It's got a good little amount of space inside of here, so it'd be pretty easy to decorate. But what I'm thinking is we take all of the jungle right around here as our trim block. This way, we have a good amount of variety and we're staying away from the spruce and everything else that we've used on the other mushrooms, so it's going to stand out a lot more. Then from here, I want to move into the willow planks as well as this bark block that we have as a way to give ourselves a little bit more headroom on the inside. Of course, some windows as we need. And now we can start building out some of the slabs. I want this one to feel a lot taller for some reason. Not too sure why, but I just think it's gonna be fun and as we're moving up we'll start incorporating a few of these lacernia planks and hopefully something like this right here can work out pretty well for us yeah real grand and just kind of abstract but i like it now we get to actually detail this mushroom out a little bit further like for one we hide the dirt attached to it since i'm at it i'm gonna do that back here too right that is much better from there we can use some of these oak palisades to help just break away from the flatness we have down in these sections for now inside of this new house that we've made is going to be housing a spore blossom just to help get some more of the magic particles floating around and we'll throw a torch in here. Now on the front, I grabbed a bunch of cobblestone bricks and I was thinking the cool contrast between having a little cobblestone pathway through here instead of the actual path blocks could be fun with all of the mushroom houses. Adding some Smurf made bits in with all of the mushroom forests, I think is a great way to go. But we can always bring in even more mushrooms now with some of the warp fungi and even some of these wall mushrooms too. Simply getting the pathway in here is making this feel so much more official. I mean, just look at little Smurfville now. I love it. Our mushroom village is really coming together. Okay, time to keep going on with some more houses. Except you are not welcome in the village. Ah. Back to building. I was getting materials ready for the next mushroom and to copy the one that we built that spawn for our iron farm so it wasn't too lonely, I thought we could bring in that same orange wood over here. But while I was preparing things, I heard a call, a call from some tiny little voice asking for help. There she is. Oh my God, look, it's a tiny person. Hello, a tiny person? Another <gasps> tiny person? You heard my fairy call. I heard, I heard, I heard a, a tiny voice saying things and I had to go help. It's me, it's me. Hi. Are you a fairy? No, 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 I'm a smurf. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a smurf. Oh. Yeah, I'm tiny. I'm very big oh, actually, well, I'm, I'm actually massive. Very, very massive. Well, what do smurfs do? Um, oh. basically, oh, whoa. basically I'm small. Basically, basically You're I'm like small. like a little bug. Yeah, I can kind of climb all over stuff I'm, and I'm basically just really small. Wow. Oh, well, you Hello? can fly. I can fly. Um, I very, have wings and I can Very fly. important question. My previous airline yeah. is out of service. Are you oh. open to being an airline? What does that mean? <gasps> oh. Oh. I can do this. Oh, jeez. Ah! <laughs> fly, Catherine, fly! La, 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 I love la, this. La, 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 oh, this is amazing. La, la, la. <laughs> and now we fly. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, what did you need help with? What did you, what did you need help with? Oh. Right, I want to build a fairy fort, but I can't get any of my stuff to build it. Why Why not? You got wings? You can fly? What's going on? Uh, well, because I'm a fairy, I can't go in the cold, and um, the hole inside of my mountain is cold. Mm-hmm. You know, that makes... Yes. Yeah, it looks very chilly out here. Very, very chilly. Okay, no, no, so you know what, what do no, you... No, don't lie. It definitely looks warm. It's just yeah. being mean to me. Uh-huh. The mountain's rejecting yeah. you. Yeah, look. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. So, Haha. Hey. Onward. Onward, Steed. Get off of my face. Okay, fine. Onward, Steed. This is uh where my stuff is, but uh -huh. I can't really go in there all the way. Cause ow. Oh, it yeah. Hurts. Okay. Yep. So So could you bring all of my stuff outside for me? Alright, Catherine, foot moving services have finished up. Everything is out here. You got a brand new chess monster for yourself and you're good to go. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm, mm. So about uh, payment? Oh, um, uh, what would you like? Well, I did. I did find these little shiny little things over here when I was going through. These can I can I have these? Can I have these? 
Oh yeah, I don't even know what that is. Go yeah, for yes. it. Oh yes, great, great, great. Yes, yes. Completely worthless stuff. Completely, absolutely worthless stuff. Yep, totally worthless. All right, thank you, Catherine, uh, for this worthless stuff. Glad you have your stuff moved out. Okay. I guess we were called upon to help move somebody's storage room. Not exactly what I was expecting when trying to help somebody, but I've been back here doing a little bit more work. We got a little bit of a mushroom field over here with our nether mushrooms, which I love. And then this house is finished up as well. I decided to start decorating the inside of them to make them at least functional for now. So we've got a loom inside of here if we want to make any banners. This pink red mushroom one now has a cartography table in here so we can make some maps. Still got to move my items into the storage room, but that's a okay. Climbing on top of the massive red mushroom house, we've got one, two, and a bunch of areas that we need to decorate. And I might throw another house in over here just to help expand it a bit more around our pumpkin field. Now, as this guy with the stripped oak logs is going to be for our super smelter of sorts, well, a like smelting area, I wanted to attach a large chimney here to the side. So I think we do something like this, maybe a little deep slate wall right there, deep slate bricks on top of this. And then we just throw our campfire surrounding it with our spruce supports so we can hide the actual flay. I don't want to die. I'm finally getting the hang of this building while tiny thing i can't die yet now outside of that i've been gathering up a lot of the brown mushroom block because we have the red mushroom house and i thought we could get a brown one in here too to help stick with this brown theme that we got going on for the top i know i've been doing it on most of the houses but i want to stick with the spruce slabs going around the sides and we'll build the smokestack itself kind of into the mushroom like this this will work out great then from here, we just take the brown mushroom blocks. So I don't want to suffocate inside of them. And since the brown mushrooms are pretty flat, I think all we need to do is something like that. A bit shorter than the other ones, but I like it. But maybe here in the center, so we almost have like a skylight and more area for the heat to get out. We could do something like this. Yeah. I like it. Now going super simple with this one, we're just gonna get eight furnaces and we can do them on the wall right over there in front of the smokestack. And then the floor is gonna also be completely covered in furnaces. Well, we've got one house left and a bunch of detail work to do. So I'll tell y'all what, it's time for a good old fashioned time lapse. There it is, the Magical Mushroom Village is now complete. Check it out. Look at all these beautiful buildings we have. We've got the lovely cartography station over in there. We got this one, the loom that I showed earlier. The pathways go all the way down to the nether portal. And we've got some new additions up here. We've got this glowing house that I think is so cool using a bunch of the end blocks that we got. I planted in a nice new potato field. So we finally got that added in here too. The super smelter is ready to go. And just all of the details are really brought in, making this feel like a full environment. I love it. Now in the last episode, we crafted this, the Eternium Anvil, which is so amazing. But the problem that we're running into right now is I need a lot more Thalassium, Terminite and all that stuff. I already went to the end once today, so I'm thinking what we work on next in order to craft the Eternium helmets, we need to make the Terminite gear, which we can do. Then we need the Eternium forge plates, which is where it gets a little difficult being the ingots, which is made with a Terminite ingot and a Netherite ingot. I need to get a whole lot of wool to make some beds and we're gonna netherite today. But first, because we can and I've got a bunch of levels, I wanna enchant this diamond sword because we don't have sharpness at all on it currently. And then I think as well, I would like to get another shovel. Sweeping edge three, I would love to ensure sharpness on that. Unbreaking three, ah, it's fortune on a shovel. I mean, we'll use it, I guess, for dirt. Knockback, uh, no. Okay, no sharpness on the sword yet. We'll have to get back up to level 30 somehow here soon, but at least we've got an extra diamond sword to roll. In the meantime, we need some shears and time to jump into the nether where I can wander all the way back to spawn. And we can wander over to Mythical Sausage's Sheep Pen. Where I don't care what color we get, I just need a lot of colors from these gigantic sheep. I didn't think getting wool from a sheep pen could ever be worse, but it's awful when you're this tiny. All right, I think that should be enough to get us started at least. We can come back once the wool has regrown. Right, it is time to go and find some netherite. I've got a bunch of wool in here and I've got some logs so we can make plenty of beds. We just gotta get way down underground in the nether. This pillar right here is gonna be my way out. And now we are currently at Y90 and we need to get down to Y14. 
Oh, oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Not what I want to deal with. You know what? I can at least kind of fall down here and we'll get closer. I'm just trying to really avoid all the lava. It's a good thing I don't take fall damage though. As long as you don't fall into the lava, we are a-okay. Speaking of which, we're down at 34. So I think I can just dig. Here we are, Y level 14. Now I just need to pull out, let's start with the white beds and we'll pull out a bunch of wood. Crafting all these guys up and we can get started. All I need to do, since I'm very tiny, is just dig out here. Maybe not into the basalt though, but we are in a basalt delta. So maybe I dig away a little bit. Wait, there's redstone in the nether? It's actually good to mine down here. That's a good amount of redstone too. Okay, let's try this thing. Gonna go right back in here and I go another block back. Can I click the bed? Oh, we're good. Oh, this is gonna be easy. I can just climb up the edge and keep going. Nothing. I really need to get out of this basalt delta though. This is, that's not working out great at all. Oh no, oh no, 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 fire, fire bad, fire, very bad. Oh God, no, fire bad, fire bad, please, please. Please fire. Okay, okay. Okay, if we get on fire, that is a big problem. Okay, finally out of all of the basalt. Just go right back in here. More redstone, but nothing. Oh no! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my God, I'm Joel again? What? 